In this topic, you will learn how to customize new lines in an existing accounting code, how to use these new lines, and how to adapt them to the customer needs. Before demonstrating this improvement, let's start by defining the whole process with all stages from the settings to the use of the customized lines in the accounting codes. All the text of accounting code lines were defined in the local menu 853. This local menu is not changeable. That means that if new lines are added to this local menu, they could be replaced by core text when upgrading to a new Sage X3 release. To improve this, a new local menu has been created, number 2820, named Account Specific Texts 853. This local menu is defined as changeable. All the texts inserted in this local menu won't be overwritten by either patch integration or upgrade processes. Therefore, all related customizations won't be affected. When the specific texts have been added in the new local menu, you have to set up the accounting code lines by adding the new lines from the right accounting code type. Note that once a line has been added, it cannot be deleted. Once the accounting code's lines definition has been updated, you can enter the right accounts into the new accounting code lines in the accounting code function. In order to use the new accounting code lines in posting from a document, you need to set up the added lines in the right automatic journal. We recommend you copy the standard automatic journal rather than updating the standard one. If you create a new automatic journal, you have to update the document type definition to set up the new automatic journal created as the one to be used for this type of document. Now the setup phase is complete. When you create a new document and post it, the new accounting code lines will be taken into account and the related accounts used in a journal automatically created. Now let's take a look at how to set up customized texts in accounting codes and how this will impact the journals posted from a document. To demonstrate this improvement, we will assume that we want our revenue account to be combined from the product type and the customer region. We don't want to use the existing accounting code settings, so we are going to modify the automatic journal SIHI2 to be able to get the revenue account from two different accounting codes, product and customer. First, we need to define the new text for the new accounting codes. Let's go under Development, Data and Parameters, Tables, Local Menus Messages. We'll find Table 2820 and we'll come down and add our new text. We're going to make it be Sales by Product Type. and customer region. We'll save our changes. And close the page. To get the new text in different languages, don't forget to validate the local menu for the corresponding languages after updating. Now we can add a new line in the accounting code definition using the text just inserted. So we'll go to Setup, Financials, Accounting Interface, and Accounting Code Lines. We're going to add the new lines to the product and the customer.
We'll make our accounting code type be modifier. And then we'll search the list. The new customized text will be at the bottom of the core list and it will be prefaced with a forward slash. I'll save my changes and I'll repeat the process for the customer. The accounting type will be modifier. and I'll scroll to the bottom of my text of accounting code lines and select my sales by product and customer region and save. And we'll close the page. Now we're going to define new accounts to be used. So we'll go into our setup, financials, and we'll go into our accounting codes. We'll use the ENG, English American Transaction Entry Screen, and we're going to select under the product the PUR SUP Supply Accounting Code. We'll come to the end of the screen and we're going to enter in the account number, but we want the first three characters of the account number to be pulled from the product, so we're only going to enter in 411, and we'll put XX as placeholders for the next two positions. The last two account numbers are going to be pulled from the customer. So now I'll go into the customer accounting code. I'll select the local a customer accounting code, I'll come to the bottom where I have my sales by product and customer region and I'll enter in my account number. The first three characters are going to be pulled from the product so I'll put placeholders of XXX and then I'll put the last two characters of my account number for 10 and save my changes. Now we need to change the automatic journal so it will pull from both the product and the customer. So we'll go under Setup, Financials, Automatic Journals. We'll select the SIHI2 Automatic Journal and we'll rename it because we don't want to change the original. And then I'll create the copy. Now we'll make sure in the line section it's going to pull from our accounting codes. We'll come down to the item line sales revenue and we'll change the customer and product index to pull from our new index that we added in the accounting codes. Modif sales by product type and we'll do the same with our product. And save our changes. And close our page. Now the last step before creating an invoice is to look at the document type to make sure it's pulling the correct automatic journal. So we will go under our Setup, Sales, and look for our document types, and select our invoice types. We'll select our DIR invoice type, and we'll change the auto journal from the SIHI to the Y SIHI Auto Journal. 
that we just created and save our changes and close the page. Now let's create a new invoice. So we'll come under our sales, invoices, invoices. We'll use the all full entry screen. We'll click new to create a new invoice. Our sales site will be NA011. Our invoice type will be DIR. Our reference will be new accounting code and we'll leave it today's date. Our bill to customer will be NA009 and we'll accept all of our default information on the management tab. Next we'll go over to the lines tab and enter in our product BMS001. We'll put our quantity in as five, accept our gross price and then create our invoice. And then we'll post our invoice. Notice that it created DIR 000040. We'll close the page out of our log and we'll come down and look at the accounting document. Notice on the lines tab, the document created is 41110. Close the page. In this module, you have learned that you can customize the accounting code lines and you know each step of the setup process, how to use the customized accounting code lines in the journal entry created once a document is posted.